<laughs> it's all fake. All right, let's see. Uh, Destiny does an NFT sponsor the same week that he calls out NFTs. Um, where's his clip with the? Where's his? Uh, where's his clip uh, doing the NFT sponsorship? Is I think it? that the idea behind this is you can basically buy and sell, or you can buy and sell like Twitch clips, and you get an NFT that you can get autographed by the streamer, who the clip is of. Oh my God! Did you know that? And ten percent of the revenue goes to the streamer. Okay. Now, there are some legendary Twitch clips out there, okay? Legendary Twitch clips out there of mine that I bet you want me to autograph. And you know what? If you buy it, I can go right up here and click autograph, and I can sign whatever NFT you want me to sign, okay? Oh, my God. It could be the Dan Litterbox clip. It could be a clip about one of my two Kyle friends. What is um, this? Every single person on the internet, every single person on the internet, okay, that is pushing NFTs is just trying to find a bigger sucker. That's it. That's all yeah. it is. Every one of them. <laughs> Basically scammer. That's, I consider all of them. Crypto is too, man. There's people who never stop tweeting about crypto. Yeah, I know, but like, so can dump it. I wish there was like a big macro. There needs to be a macro accounting of human behavior because we all grow up making fun of certain people. And then we all he's grow up right. to see that behavior. Right? I mean, this this part is right. Like he's correct on this right? take. When I grew up, people made fun of motherfuckers that sold Avon, Mary Kay, yeah. uh, Amway. But like, bro, I'm sorry. Exactly. NF NFTs, NFTs are the Zoomers Avon. That's all it is, bro. Like it's the exact same <laughs> shit. Yeah, you're buying some worthless shit with the hopes you can pawn it off on some other loser in the future who thinks they can pawn it off on somebody else it's all pyramid scheme bullshit that's what it is what please get this monster so i can buy an 821 nft i'm not doing that is red is kobe right now people speak out about the hypocrisy getting banned yeah i mean he's trying to catch a bag this take that he has here is the same take that i have on this issue like on nfts which, where is it? When is this from? Like, how many days ago was this? I just, like, eh, whatever. Who cares? Uh, is this three days ago? Jesus Christ. I mean, look, people will eat it up. His community will eat it up. The thing is that, like, people that care about consistency are, or supposedly care about consistency are his clip. We're looking at Destiny apparently did an NFT sponsorship the same week he called him a scam. I saw that. Like, saw three that. days in between. I saw that. It's crazy. How do you feel about that? uh get the bag good good for him i guess i don't know like yeah it's hypocritical let me ask you a question so you know like we get a lot of hate for certain things that we do yeah do you think that do you think that if people giving us hate now were in our shoes that they would do the same thing or not you know like, like everyone who's like hating on oh anyone who says like you know you're a hypocrite would they do hypocritical things if they were in our situation yes. first of all most of the time when people call me a hypocrite i'm not even doing anything hypocritical so that's what's uh, incredibly frustrating. But also, 100%, they would do way worse shit. <laughs> like, these motherfuckers are like, dude, I can't believe you're doing this, I can't believe you're doing that. It's like, dude, the amount of things that, like, I say no to, the amount of sponsorships I say no to on a regular basis, like, none of you motherfuckers would ever do that in the same position. And everyone always loves to say, like, no, actually, I would do so much, I would do so much better. Like, I, yeah, you, I, you wouldn't buy a house for yourself and your family. You okay, know what we should do? It. Let's test it. Let's find someone on this thread that's like, I know, in NFTs, I don't really, I'm not really for NFTs. But let's find a guy who's hating on this. They're going like, to we'll, get so mad at we'll, you. We'll be, like, we'll be like, we'll give you 50K if you promote this NFT to your friends and family. You think they'll do it? 100%. Oh, well, then that's not fair. No, they, well, of course they would. And then they would justify it by saying, well, I have much less money than you do. Obviously, I would do it. Most people would do it. Well, it's because of my, it's because of the financial power that I have because of my community that I don't need to do shit like that. That's true. But if I wasn't in a situation like that, what who about knows? Des well, Destiny, for example, this guy gets banned all the time. He gets less than a thousand viewers on Twitch, you know what I'm saying? What about that guy? Like I said, um, if he wants to scam his community, it seems like a lot of them are going to be willing and able to and they'll, they don't give a shit. Some will say, you're hypocritical. This, this shows you as someone who is uh, inconsistent morally, but like ultimately most humans are. So I'm not even remotely surprised by this. Yeah, if he wants to shill NFTs to his community to get a bag, you know, then yeah, that's what he's gonna do. I was kidding about the view count joke, by the way. I don't know. I know he gets more than a thousand. It was a joke. 
That's we're right. gonna start drama. They're gonna, you know, DDoS you now. Again? No, they'll probably get mad at me because you said it on my stream, <laughs> and I didn't like defend him hard enough or some shit. I was kidding. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just like, yeah, not surprising. Did you react to the uh, what T1 said about everyone cracking jokes during the um, they're talking? Oh, did you see what happened yesterday? I I saw the clip where he was like saying Dude, here. everyone's babies. Everyone's a bunch of babies and like they're being rude to the staff. Yeah. I mean, the funny thing is like I think there was uh, some rudeness towards the staff in some in certain situations, but like what he was talking about wasn't even that situation. You know what I mean? True. People were like legitimately trying to uh, glitch hack the games, gamer mentality. You know what I mean? They were like, "Can I grab it with one hand? Can I put it in my mouth?" Every like, every event, me and Will had the same exact idea of how to cheat. Yeah, everyone was just trying to like exploit. Everyone's always trying to find exploits. That's life, though. Everyone would do that. Yeah. I feel like this dude wants me to get into drama. This dude. I don't take anything seriously. That's why I say things like this. Anyway, it's all good. It's all good. I'm just eliminated, so I'm looking for something to do. Yeah, well, I'm looking at LSF. Right now. Okay. This dude's out. See you guys. Peace. Are the staff supposed to be masked? Yes, I think. I'm I'm just wondering how like this Destiny NFT thing will like turn back on me somehow, and like people will yell at me or some shit about it, because I'm sure it'll happen. You know what I mean? Ultimately. He's still streaming. Will is. Yeah. Alright. Even D Sims are angry at him? Yeah, I mean. His explanation? Listen. I told you no, guys. No, he a few got God, dude. I, I, I mean, look, ago. he got God. Like, he, that's it. There's nothing else to it. Like, this is the most, like understandable instance of like direct hypocrisy it's like you don't have to go back to like ideological purity or whatever the f in the in with respect to like buying a house while being a socialist or anything like that you know what i mean it's like that's it he he wanted to get the bag all right we're done with that sponsor okay listen i told you guys a few months ago i think i said a month ago i'm going ultra seller i'll take any sponsor that comes to me okay i don't give a f all right I'm trying to cash out and get out of here before I get banned from this garbage ass website. Okay. Now, when I said it before, everybody laughed. I think you guys thought I was joking. I'm not joking. Okay. Somebody comes to me with a sponsor. I will do it. All right. I'm running this shit because I'm not going to be homeless or working at McDonald's because I get banned from this website because I don't address Finally somebody the as like fucking take. your gender. Okay. So <laughs> you better believe I'm taking mine. All right. With all the other trash what happened to debate lords and their moral point? consistency? That's what I'm saying. The people that like actually, dude, here, let me explain something to you guys, okay? This notion that like there is a, like a like a moral system that you've designed for yourself, that you live by, that you abide by at all uh, moments, like saying that you're an egoist is like a cheat code. You know what I mean? Saying that you're an egoist is like a cheat code. It's like, yeah, well, I'm selfish and I'm doing it for my own. Okay, I guess then you're still morally consistent. And that's the problem. It's just like, it's not a real thing. It's just trying to rationalize irrational behavior, just like debate lording is literally trying to, just like debate lording is literally trying to make a logical fallacy appear as though it is completely logical. That's it. Uses homelessness as an argument while making 40k a month on YouTube. Papela D. He's, you know. Website doing all these crazy sponsors. Fuck that shit, dude. 90% of the just chatting section is people watching paid TV, okay? Half the shit that goes on here is illegal. You better believe I'm trying to cash the fuck out, all right? I don't give a fuck. All right, there you go. At, clip that one. Suck my okay? Be mad at me for two days on LSF. I'll take the hate. I don't give a fuck, all right? All right, let's watch some fun clips now. This drama shit, who cares?
in here. Irrelevant. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>